सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल फॉर डेली टेक्नोलॉजी एंड स्मार्टफोन वीडियोज हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टुडे वन प्लस फाइव एंड वन प्लस फाइव टी बोथ रिसीव ओपन बीटा थर्टीन एंड ओपन बीटा इलेवन अपडेट रिस्पेक्टिवली एंड द मेन फीचर फॉर दिस अपडेट इज सपोर्ट फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट ट्रेबल and now what is this project table project table will help you to get a faster android updates now how this uh, update will work like whenever google uh, releases any new update it won't depend on any customized rom or anything and it will directly go into the project table uh, partition so it help us to get a faster uh, security updates and faster android updates like android p and etc so we will see in the, this upcoming video how to install this open beta 11 update and what are the new features uh, apart from this project table so without any further delay let's get started so guys this is my oneplus 5t phone and let me show you my current version you can see it's running on 5.1.3 which is a stable version and now i will tell you how to install open beta 11 first we will see the open beta 11 change log so let's go to the community section here straight away you will find this open beta 11 for the oneplus 5t and this is the change log which they have mentioned that the, they have a brand new user interface they have supported accent color customization and now they have supported project triple there are few uh, improvement in the launcher there are few improvement in the phone as well as in the weather also they have mentioned a note that if you want to install this particular open beta version then you need to be on open beta 10 for oneplus 5t so first we will install open beta 10 so how to install open beta 10 go to this download section of oneplus just type oneplus 5t download in the google and you will find this particular page This is Open Beta 10 file for 1.63 GB of file. I have already downloaded this file. You can download it from the internet. And once you download this file, just copy paste in this folder. So this is my Open Beta 10 file. So now I will install this Open Beta 10 over stable version 5.1.3. So reboot your phone into recovery mode. i have already told in my previous video how to uh, use recovery mode so it's a similar one enter password or pattern choose english wipe data and cache wipe cache yes done now install from internal storage now here choose your open beta 10 file install package yes it will take couple of minutes to complete the installation process so after couple of minutes installation is successful so reboot now again it will take couple of minutes to reboot reboot is completed so let's type our password and here it will pop up a message that installation is successful so wait for this particular message okay it's done so let's see the version you can see it's open beta 10 now which is a primary requirement to install open beta 11 now we will go to system update and we'll check if there is any new update appears as as you can see it's a new open beta 11 file 1.7 gb of file it's a quite a big file so i will uh, the change log remains the same as we saw in this particular uh, community section so i will quickly download this so friends update is completed and as you can see system has been updated pop up is arrive so let me show you my current version let's go to setting about phone and here you will find open beta 11 as a my new update it's running on android 8.1.0 and security patch level is still at june 1st so we will see what are the new changes involved in this particular thing so here is the change log and they say that brand new user interface in the system section so yeah i can see this is a brand new user interface the icon size has been changed as you can see again if you go to settings here you will find a new icon size So this is a brand new user interface. Again, if you if you long press power button, it will give you. Uh, this is a new interface. 
so it's a again a brand new interface and they have changed these things and obviously again if you go to camera section the camera ui has been also changed so the basic uh, default uh, application has been changed i mean they have changed the ui for this application now again uh, the second change log they says that they supported accent color customization so let's go to settings and display here you will find accent color option these are the by default option available and there are few more options like we now uh, customize this using this particular colors the next change log is uh, they have supported for project treble and this is a important one so let's go to project treble check application and here you will straight away find that project treble is supported and your device support project treble you can expect faster android os updates so again this is depends on manufacturer how fast they can roll the new updates but it's a good thing that now oneplus 5t and oneplus 5 both devices are now support project treble so again next customization are for launchers improve search tag in the app drawer so again they have customized this search app option and again they have added new install tag so this is new install will give you the new installation over here as you can see these are the my new installation and improve app list for the hidden space and toolbox again for the hidden space you just need to swipe like this it's not working i guess let me try yeah it's working so this is the hidden space and they did some modification and optimization in this hidden space logic again for phone op optimize logic for the contact page so let's go to the phone and here you will find a different icon different ui as you can see it's all together a different ui so they have optimized the logic for this phone section again for the weather a brand new design with improved user experience so if you are using a weather application you will get a brand new user experience so these are all important change log in open beta 11 and uh, the good thing is that they have now added a project travel support and it's a good thing so i will test a battery life for this particular update and i will let you know in the upcoming days how is the battery life on open beta 11 and apart from this all the previous features are involved in this particular uh, update like the standby battery management improve camera clarity all the previous feature which are included in open beta 6 7 8 9 10 are already included in this open beta 11 and make sure you will delete your cache data after installation so that you won't face any battery run issues so guys that's it for today's video and i hope you like this video if you like this video please hit like and subscribe to our channel if you have any queries any issues just comment down we will see in the next upcoming video till then thank you very much and see you soon